to no one told you high school was gonna be this way. Your grades are bad, you're sad. Spanish is hard, oh lay. You got detention and now you're in fear. You're late to class all day, all week, all month, and even all year. But I'll be there for you. When the cow gets too tough, I'll be there for you. When your mornings start out rough, I'll be there for you. Cause you're there for Welcome back, Mustangs, to the new season of Digital Media. We're your new hosts. I'm Cole, and this is Beth. We have a pretty exciting episode, including interviews with the freshmen. Before we get to that, let's head over to the Mustang stable for sports news. Hey, Stangs. Zach here with Reed. Morning, Mustangs. Let's get down to business. We start today's segment with boys' soccer. The boys played Ballard on Tuesday and tied 1-1 in regulation, but lost the heartbreaker in PKs, 4-2. Regulation goal was scored by Jordan Moore, and PKs were scored by Joel, 12 Gage Kleins, and Alan Joan. Now finishing out sports with the golf team. Our boys and girls both stomped Nicholas and won their all-A regional title. Abby Cook was the girls medalist, and Jared Bainham medaled for the boys. Congrats to both teams and medalists, and good luck to all the fall sports teams starting the grind of their seasons. That's all we have today, folks. Now back to Cole, Bobby, and Besh at the front desk. Wow, we got some good stuff going on here. Looking forward to a great year in sports. Now on to the weather with Pete to hear about the lunar eclipse. Good morning, Mustangs. This is the Mustang Weather Report. On Monday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 68. There will also be a solar eclipse that will begin around 1 o'clock and it will re the sun will be completely eclipsed around 2.30 and it will stay eclipsed until around 4. Remember to bring proper eye protection during the eclipse. On Tuesday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 90 and a low of 68. Wednesday, there will be rain in the morning with a high of 89, with a low of 81 and a high of 89. Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 58. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 56. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 57. It'll be a great day to do, go do your various sports practices and whatnot. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high 81 and a low of 89. Back to the front desk. Nice job, Pete. Looks like we got a good week ahead of us. Can't wait to see that lunar eclipse later today. Me too, Beth. But first, let's learn a bit, little bit about our new teachers. What did you do before you started teaching? Before I started teaching, um, well, I was in a touring rock band for five years. I was um, a forklift mechanic before I came here. And I also, before that, I worked construction. What do you love most about music? Um, I love playing with other people. Um, I love writing my own music. And when we get together as a group or a band, everybody putting it together. And when it comes together, it's just um, it's one of the best moments, feelings you can have. Solid. Um, why would you choose Brosser? Why would I choose Brosser? Yeah. <laughs> well, for number one, I went to school here. Um, the staff is amazing. Um, I really like how over the last, well, especially since Dan Ritter has been here as well, they've really tried to advance the school as far as technology goes. and heading towards the future, which is something that really is inspirational. And um, what was the best moment in your music career? Oh my god. Um, playing in front of 10,000 people was a good moment, but I'd have to say my best moment was we played at the Metro in Chicago with one of my favorite bands called Brand New, and it was sold out. I think there was about 1,600 people there. and. Um, just the crowd and playing the Metro, knowing of all the bands that had ever been on that stage, like Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins. All, all my rock. favorite bands have been on that stage. So. They all rock. Yeah, it was amazing. Just to be up there where some, a lot of my favorite artists were, yeah. Um, and if you didn't choose music, what would you be doing with your life? Oh my god. 
Well, I wanted to be a Major League Baseball pitcher. <laughs> But I can only top out at about 78 miles an hour, so that was never going to happen. Um, well, that's a that's tough more one. than Zach Amber. <laughs> I would say I didn't have any other goals. Music, is Music life. was the only thing I wanted to do. Music is life. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Interview. No problem. How would you describe your faith? Um, since I'm teaching fresh religion, it definitely has gotten a lot stronger. Uh, you know. I, I, it's it's kind of a blessing from God that I've been called to teach religion, so it's definitely strengthened. But like everybody else, I think it can get better each and every day. Why did you choose Brossard? Um, I went to graduate from Brossard '95. I've always wanted to come back to Brossard, but Mr. Braun kind of ruined that because he teaches business, and I was teaching business. And then Mr. Shu kind of ruined it because he coaches girls cross country and track, and I coach girls cross country and track. Um, but unfortunately, things opened up, and I got the opportunity to come and teach religion and be an assistant. Wait. So I blame Mr. Shu and Mr. Braun for that. Unfortunately? Fortunately. Fortunately. I'm sorry. Fortunately. Can you edit that? Make sure you edit that. Yeah, we I will try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it worked out, you know, teaching religion, which is my first year. Um, but I've always wanted to come back to Browser, you know, for 16 years. And I enjoyed my time at St. Henry. Um, but I'm glad to be back home. All right. And then last question. Um, if you weren't teaching religion, what would you do? Uh, I, would be, I assume I would be teaching business because that's what I taught at St. Henry, but I would pretty much be teaching anything I could to be teaching here at Browser. Mr. Scharf and Mr. Harden seem to be pretty cool dudes. I'd have to agree with you on that, Bob. Let's go check out how our new freshmen are settling in. Hello, Mustangs. This is Zach Myers for Mustang Media. Here with Jacob Schroeder. Can I ask him a few questions? Uh, how have your first couple of days of Browser been? Uh, my first days have been pretty good here. Right. Uh, been uh, getting stuff done. Has and everyone been nice to you? Yeah, everybody's, all the staff nice has been great and it's just been, awesome. I just like coming here. All right, uh, another question. What's your 40 time? Oh, what? Your 40 yard dash time. Oh, uh, I have no idea. All right. <laughs> all right, boy, sports. <laughs> all right, this is Zach Myros from Mustang Media. Talking to Riley Griffin. If you had one color to invent, what would it look like? Um, <laughs> probably something bright, but I can't think of it because that's hard. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> bright is awesome. Okay. All right, we're here just outside the art room with uh, Jack Piscatel. Jack, how's Browser been so far? Pretty good. Yeah, it's been good so far. Any favorite classes? Um, not really. All right, well, i got a tricky question for you here. If you had to invent a new color, what would it look like? Um, it would probably look like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's impossible. You can't do it. Folks, it's an unanswerable question. Uh, we're here with uh, Brennan today, yeah, one of the newest like the members to the Barossa football team. Brennan, yeah. how's school been so far? Uh, school's been fine. Teachers are nice. School's great. Uh, working with Mr. Shaq after school. It's fun making some money, you know. That's but, big. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, good stuff. What's your favorite class? Uh, favorite class? It's probably between algebra and religion because we always probably we have like these discussions and it's just kind of fun and we talk all the time. So I really like it. That's good. Uh, we have a question from the outside here, uh, Zach. You're right. If we can see water, but we can't see air, can fish and fish can't see water? Do you think they can see the air? Uh, um, I don't know. I'm not a fish. Maybe ask Corey <laughs> Stefan. He's always had dreams of being a fish. So. All right, we, I mean, we might have to get on the show. Hello, guys. We're here with uh, Corey today. Uh, how have the first couple of days of Browser been for you? Pretty good. Good? Yep. Alright, what's your favorite class? AEP. AEP? Yeah. Why is that? Because Mr. J. Alright. We've actually heard a rumor that you have dreams about being a fish. What do you have to say about that? It's true, but I don't anymore. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Alright, this is Zach. I'm here to interview uh, Stan, freshman. So, uh, how was your first couple of days been here at Browser? Good. Just good, that's it? Yeah, they, and what I expected. Alright, what is your favorite class? 
probably Algebra 2 so far because he's the only one that's not super boring. Wow, interesting. That's, that's usually a hard class though, isn't it? Yeah, it won't be. After a week it won't be, but it is right now. Bold, bold statement. All right. Did you know that whoever, who, the person that coined the term, coined the term, coined the term, coined the term? <laughs> I don't. You didn't know that? Nope. Did that make sense to you? Nope. All right. Well. I'm here with freshman Chris Stoney Hickman. How are your first few days at Brossard? Uh, it's been a blast, you know. Everybody's been, been real nice to me. That's all we have for this week. Make sure to tune in next Monday. We'll see you next week.